Hello, and that is right, these days upgrading the network connectivity on your PC, your Mac, your mobile phone, and of course your NAS has never been easier. Time was in the past, if you wanted to upgrade the network connectivity from standard, bog standard, gigabit Ethernet, you had to go for little PCIe cards, which come with, let's be realistic, two big downsides. Number one, a lot of us don't have a PCIe upgrade slot on our system, particularly our more mobile systems or our more fixed systems, in order to enjoy that extra bandwidth there. The second problem is more often than not, cost. Larger bandwidth connections tend to have a higher price point, a lot of the time because the heat generated when these suckers are working. But times change, and although newer generation bandwidth connections from 10 to 10 GBE, 25 GBE and 40 GBE arrive on the scene. And let's not forget about Wi-Fi connections like Wi-Fi 7. It has to be said that USB upgrades for network uh, adapters or NICs has really, really come up a notch or two. It's gone a long way away from bog standard, boring one gig to USB adapters. Now, there's loads in the market and that's what this video is about. I wanna talk about the best USB network adapter upgrades you can get right now in 2024 and 2025. But hold your horses. Before we start, a few disclaimers straight out the gate. Number one, we've got to talk about compatibility there. Because just because a USB to network adapter exists doesn't guarantee that you can use it. And in the market, there are lots of systems that could really dire use a network upgrade, <coughs> Synology, that are just simply not compatible. And although you may find that your system has USBs, doesn't guarantee you can use an upgrade. There are workarounds, lots of times it's like Unraid can allow you to install third party drivers via their repository, or things like Synology, there are lots of hard workers on GitHub, such as BBQQ or Dave Russell, two that we've highlighted here on the channel before, that work on mods and patches to allow you to use drivers for these network adapters and more on systems like Synology there. Other brands have got a little bit more of a flexible position, but ultimately, the compatibility of a USB upgrade will differ from system to system to operating system to operating system next if you aren't going to upgrade your network interface um, connection now or network interface card or just nick keep in mind that having the bandwidth is not the same as filling the bandwidth there you can go ahead and get yourself a 10g upgrade on a two-bay system like this one if you like have a usb with a few mods but keep in mind just because you've opened up a 1000 megabytes per second connection there doesn't mean you can fill it. You're going to have to make sure that the drive media and ultimately the systems in the middle can drive the water through the pipe there for you. So don't think just because you've added 10G as a network connection that you're going to get 10G speeds. And that is particularly true of internet connections there. And finally, if it's not obvious enough, not all USB ports are created equally. And with that, keep in mind that if you are going to use a USB 2 port there, it significantly reduces your performance. USB 3 has been broken down into USB 3.1, 3.2 or USB 3.2. 2 Gen 1 and USB 3.2 Gen 2 and then X2 and then all the different kinds. They all have different bandwidths there built in and I've not even got onto, of course, USB Type A and USB Type C. Different physical connections there which may well need an adapter. More on that later on. But with those disclaimers out of the way, let's talk about some bloody great USB NIC upgrades. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. This first one will feel like a bit of a box ticker, but this is important towards people that care slightly less about bandwidth, but also want to take advantage of more network ports for things like failover or for multiple users so they can all enjoy a full saturated connection each. Things like this one, this is a USB type A to two times one GBE connection from StarTech. Now, right now, this is probably one of the oldest in the field out there, but it also allows uh, an additional USB port there. Again, all of the adapters I'm gonna talk about today are linked in the description. But this device here, as good as this is, there is an even better one from another brand out there called Cable Matters. And the Cable Matters adapter has four one GBE connections there going into a USB type I. Now, again, software compatibility, keep in mind, that does mean that via a single USB port, which is going to provide a USB 3.2 Gen 1, five gigabits per second, will allow you to add up to four single USB or single gigabit network connections there. It doesn't challenge the bandwidth to 10 GBE. And if you do want to make the most of those connections in one run, you're gonna to have to use things like SMB multi-channel port trunking and more, but nonetheless, given the price tag difference, I think the larger hub retails for about 30 nicker, that's a great way to add multiple ports to your system. Gentlemen, we can read. 
build him. We have the technology. For the last year and a half, we have seen an increase in USB to Wi-Fi 6 and 6E adapters. Now, the pricing does vary wildly online, such as this D-Link 1. This D-Link 1 retails for about $50. Dollars, but keep in mind for this fifty dollars, you're getting one that's got a longer warranty than most of the other options in the market with support and availability. There's a reason it's charging a little bit more. However, if you go on AliExpress, you can spend as little as ten, fifteen dollars, and get yourself a Wi-Fi six E to USB dongle. We've tested on multiple systems, and now we're starting to see Wi-Fi seven options out there. It's not just PCIe upgrades in the market. You can get Wi-Fi 7 USB dongle upgrades there for between $30 and $70. But keep in mind, those and Wi-Fi 7 need to take advantage of tri-band routers in order to achieve those larger speeds. The fact that these newer Wi-Fi adapters are opening up the 6 gigahertz band is great news. But keep in mind that at the moment, don't bother spending money on a Wi-Fi 7 dongle unless you are planning to wi -Fi, uh, upgrade your Wi-Fi to a Wi-Fi 7 router that's tri-band in the next year or so because it's just not worth it. And for the rest of you, I would still recommend definitely Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6 e USB dongles which we've tested on multiple NAS brands with, in some cases, good old technology with third-party driver input via those repos and it will work. If you're running a PC or an Unraid or system like that, there's lots of ways to add these Wi-Fi dongles. And thanks to Wi-Fi 6 and 6E taking advantage of larger amounts of space for uh, 160 megahertz channels, you're able to achieve 1.2 and 1.8 gigabits per second performance, which is greater than that of gigabit ethernet, and it's wireless. You lose the range, but still nonetheless, Wi-Fi connectivity that can challenge wired LAN, love it. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Here's one I recently talked about on the channel. This is the Wavlink USB to 5 gigabit Ethernet adapter there. This allows you to add half a gigabyte of transfer up and down when you need it. But more importantly, even though 5G to USB adapters have been around for a while, this is one of the cheapest I've seen. Arriving at around 30 Nika. Don't be surprised if you start to see even more USB to 5G adapters coming out the market soon. A lot of that down to a phenomenally small impact Realtek processor, uh, eight millimeter square one there that arrived, I think it is the, the 5.7. That 5.7 uh, USB controller allows for incredibly affordable, low powered 5G to USB connections. Keep in mind, of course, the majority of them are arriving with type C, but you can get around that with simple, 50 cent or even one dollar USB type A to type C adapters on the like of AliExpress. Now, this works thanks uh, on Unraid and a few other NAS brands where you can get hold of third party uh, drivers. And again, we've done a video, hopefully, it's live now, adding this to a Synology NAS system thanks to uh, driver modification there for DSM 10.2 online via GitHub. And that's BBQQ again and Dave Russell. Link to the description below. Check out their guides. But still, the means to add halfway to 10 GBE for just 30 nicker over USB? Sold. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. And as if it's not good enough, we can talk about USB 4 adapters here. Now, for those who aren't aware, USB 4 and Thunderbolt 4, there they are, best buds. What that means is, as we're starting to see more system hardware and even NAS devices rocking out with USB 4 and Thunderbolt as well, hello QNAP, but we're seeing more and more systems with USB Type 4. That means we can start utilizing USB 4 to 10G adapters. Ones like this one, the IO Crest, we reviewed this a couple of months ago here on the channel. This retails for about between 80 and $100 and it allows you to add a 10 gigabit connection to a USB 4 system. As with all of the adapters we've talked about, a good USB NIC is only as good as the driver that you can access, but we have tested this on a few different USB 4 systems from desktop, of course, to NAS, and it has worked. And it has served as a great way to add 10 GBE fire an external outlet, just like that. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. This last one is gonna feel a little bit cheeky. This is also why at the beginning of the video, I said 2024 to 2025, because this one isn't even available yet. I just know it's being worked on. And that is USB 4 
to 25 gig network adapters there. Again, we kind of heard a little bit about this from the QNAP stand during Computex 2024, but you also know that AES Media is working and has already started unveiling prototypes, controllers that are allowing USB 4 connectivity with its 40 gigabits per second bandwidth pass through onto a 25 gig and even 40 gig output there. That is big news. That is gonna allow you to not only add 2.5 gig to 4 gig network connections to your system over USB, but do it via USB 4 bus power, thanks to that in heightened power delivery. But again, this is not a solution that's out there now, but if you're watching this in 2025 and you're wondering about USB upgrades for your local system or your NAS, definitely check and see if 40 gig to USB and 25 gig to USB um, network upgrades are in the market right now. Expect to pay a pretty penny, definitely somewhere in the region of 150 to 250, given PCI upgrade cards challenge that price, but nonetheless, it's an exciting time to see where they're gonna go with this. And there you go, that is pretty much the best USB to network adapter upgrades you should either buy or look out for in 2024 and 2025. And by the way, quick shout out, right on AliExpress right now, you can pick up USB to 2.5G upgrades for about a tenner right now. So even if none of these float your boat, there are incredibly affordable ways to maximize your network connection. And I know there are gonna be those watching this going 2.5G, 5G, they're all faddish, what's the point? I've said this before in other videos and I'll say it to you now. Better to have the ability to make the most of available bandwidth than to just go, I'm going to go straight to 10G on a system that doesn't support it or allow it. USB upgrades, at least now on USB 3, and that's 3.2, allow you to add um, 2.5 and 5G upgrades that allow you between 279 and close to 600 megabytes per second bandwidth there. Isn't it better to have that than to not get 10 GBE or be capped in at 1 GBE? We're seeing more NAS systems rock out with 2.5G at the same price as 1 GBE and with NAS systems like the Asus Store Locker Store that are rocking out with 5G up, uh, network interfaces as standard at the same price as 1G that's why the market is going. So why complain about it if we can get better network connections at the same price as 1G? But this has been the best network upgrades over USB. I hope you've enjoyed it. They're all linked in the description below. And if you have found this video helpful, and if you were gonna shop at the stores listed in the description anyway, please use those links. We get a commission here, myself and Eddie, it's just us and as compares, and it allows us to keep doing what we do. We've also got an article linked below that we'll update every four to six months with newer network interface, uh, sorry, USB network upgrades, but all of these are listed there below and a few other honorable mentions too, so I recommend you check that out. But apart from that, I will see you next time.